huge news coming out of Newcastle today. Kalen Ponga has resigned for five more years. Now, this just goes to show. <laughs> Man, that's funny. It's funny because everyone's been bagging KP. They've even been taking digs at his old man on social media. And so many were certain, even I was coerced into believing that he was a Redcliffe bound. That just goes to show you, don't believe everything you read in the media. Or better yet, take what you read in the papers with a grain of salt. It's all speculation after all, and when you're a superstar in the league, uh, it comes with the territory. But in saying that, man, I mean, they even dropped some breaking news while Kalen was playing that the Knights pulled the deal while the man was ripping and tearing on the field. I thought it was a little weird to drop that during the match and plastering old mate's name all over it, the journo. But yeah, that's awesome news for Newcastle fans. KP did make an official statement and I've got that here. I would like to thank everyone who has helped throughout this process, Punga said. I'm grateful for the huge amount of time and hard work it has taken to get this new five-year deal completed, especially my family and key people from the club. We are a very connected group and I am confident there are great things ahead for us. There has been a lot of reporting and opinions throughout the last few weeks, which I understand completely, and respect as a part of the game. I would like to thank all of those who have given me the respect of allowing me the space and time I needed to come to this decision. I am excited to have it done and now I can get on with contributing to the club and city that I love. And there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth, KP comes out with a five-year extension. All the speculation has been put to bed. I mean, it wasn't just the media thinking he'd go to the Dolphins. Even I thought he'd go. And there's actually more movement from Newcastle, but let's talk about the Dolphins. Where does this leave the Redcliffe Dolphins if they don't get Cameron Munster? I'm trying to think of who'd be left. I mean, in terms of a marquee signing, it's getting pretty interesting for Redcliffe. They've already made some gun signings to their forward pack, but the key word here is marquee, and I'm looking around at the league at the moment. Other than Munster, who else is there? So like I was saying, there is more news coming out of Newcastle. Former Brisbane Bronco, who was bound for South Sydney, has actually signed for the Newcastle Knights. There's this whole fiasco surrounding the South Sydney and Anthony Milford uh, quote-unquote deal, which you can find online. Let's just say it's uh, it's messy and shady. It's no secret I'm a big fan of Anthony Milford and it's been pretty slack to see how he's been treated these uh, past, oh well, this past year at least, past couple of years, and it's good to see him finally moving on. And lastly, out of Newcastle, we were talking about uh, Mitch Barnett potentially going to the Warriors. Uh, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, or maybe last week, and all roads did point to the Warriors as Ewan Aiken was granted a release. Newcastle have done the same for Mitch Barnett, and he'll be joining his former coach next season. That's a really good signing for the Warriors. They've actually got quite a few decent signings next year. They've got Marasa Nyukore, they've got Dylan Walker, and even young gun Luke Metcalf from the Canela Sharks. And the last bit of news coming from an All Black, yes, another, another All Black coming out talking about the NRL. But yeah, it was Jordy Barrett this time who expressed that the Sydney Roosters actually reached out to him while he was in negotiation with uh, re-signing to the Wellington Hurricanes. Now, ultimately, Barrett decided to stay in rugby union, but he said uh, he was tempted to make the switch. They all say that, don't they? I think TJ Pedernara was linked to the Sydney Roosters also. It kind of confirmed what I suspected. These NRL talks from the rugby union uh, big dogs, I guess you could call them, they only, uh, they only come out when players are off contract. I don't think we'll be seeing any All Blacks joining the league anytime soon, but we'll continue to hear the league get mentioned come contract time. A cheeky little strat. I don't mind it, I don't mind it. But yeah boys, that's going to do it for this video. Another odd takes. Unexpected, I'll be honest. I was currently working on Rick Young, and I had topics laid out for later in the week. And KP went ahead and uh, dropped this on our head tops. As always, if you enjoyed that, and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general, be sure to run straight that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you later.